Hi, Hype students and parents. Pastor Kent here with another Hype Weekly update. For our riddle challenge, we have this. Five apples are in a basket. How do you divide them among five girls so that each girl gets an apple, but one apple remains in the basket? I'll repeat it one more time. There are five apples in a basket. How do you divide them among five girls so that each girl gets an apple, but one apple remains in the basket? Be the first hype student to text me the correct answer at 309-620-6606, and you will receive one free item from Hype's concession stand. Again, be the first hype student to text me the correct answer, and you will be the first hype student. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to get a free uh, item from Hype's concession stand. We continued our series Gospel-Based Family uh, last uh, Sunday for our lesson. And as we continue that series, we talked about how to love your family well. We uh, looked at uh, 1 Corinthians as our text as we explored what it means to love one another in, in a way that um, we are commanded to in Scripture and that God calls us to love. And we went over verses 4 through 7. I just want to recap and, and just read those verses quick for you. So 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 through 7 says this, Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy, is not boastful, it is not arrogant, is not rude, is not self-seeking, it is not irritable, does not keep a record of wrongs. Love finds no joy in unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, it believes all things, and hopes all things, and endures all things things. Last night, or this past Sunday, we talked about um, this concept of how do we love our siblings well? How do we love our parents, our close uh, family relatives well? And this passage in First Corinthians gives a very good picture of what that love looks like. So we talked a lot about being patient when um, things don't go our way, or when we have younger siblings, or maybe even older siblings, that annoy us, and how to treat them with kindness, and how to love them even when um, they irritate us. And so that was just a quick recap. I uh, hope that you go back and listen to uh, the uh, lesson. It is should be in the description down below. Um, I hope and I pray that you would listen to our lesson from this past Sunday if you had not already. Some announcements for this week is that there is no hype for the next two Sundays. We have a, a little break here, as I know it's uh, Eureka's, uh, the school district spring break. Um, we don't have hype this Sunday because of a hype leadership meeting um, this Sunday. And then the following Sunday is Easter Sunday, and we're taking that Sunday off as well in hopes that uh, students will be able to spend that time with family and friends. So we have two Sundays that we will not have hype. Uh, we will resume our uh, Sunday evening program on April 11th with our student workshop. Um, also, some other announcements. We have our parent workshop on April 10th that revolves around our teaching series, Gospel-Based Family. So, parents, I hope you can be there on April 10th. Students, I will see you on April 11th. Um, that's all the announcements that I have for you this week. I hope you found this video to be informative and encouraging, and I hope you have a great rest of the week in the Lord. God bless.